Hi guys, it's Lucy. So today we're going to carry on talking about what I think are underrated books. And this one might not be so underrated as the last one, but this is Nocturnes by Kazuo Ishiguro. And this author is a giant. Um, and, I, and I actually have not read any of his other books. I heard recently Clara and the Sun, the most recent one, was slightly underwhelming for people. Um, and his most well-known ones are The Buried Giant and Never Let Me Go. Those two are still pretty high up on my reading list and they just keep popping up again and again. But my first intro to this author is Nocturnes and this is a short stories collection. There are five um, stories here about musicians, uh, aspiring musicians and they are sort of, they remind me of movements in um, a musical, a classical music piece, and because, so the first two stories, the crooner and come rain or shine, these are about like kind of washed up musicians, and then Melbourne Hills is about an aspiring musician, and and then the fourth one, um, Nocturne, it brings in a character from one of the other stories, Mrs. Gardner from Crooner, and they're totally disconnected stories, but and and the character names are the same so you have that same theme running along but in a totally different new melody or new story and then cellists um is the same so there's a it's it's talking about this guy who just plays um cello um actually no he doesn't play cello he plays sax in the san marco square and he could very well be like an older version of the of the young musician that tony garner met in crooner who um he got to serenade um, Mrs. Gardner with Lindy Gardner. So similar characters running throughout in vastly different stories, but all about musicians. So if you're someone who likes music and if you are a musician or um, you play music, I feel like this is right up your alley. So for me, I play violin. So a lot of these, um, little things that he talks about like about music or especially the one about the cello was quite interesting just because it kind of brings me back into another world that i'm sort of familiar with but not so um you know day to day about and the whole thing about aspiring musicians is that there's an element of romanticism that's in these stories and part of it is nostalgia part of it is lost opportunity or um, so all of that combined creates a certain idealistic type of character or theme running throughout all of these stories. And it reminds me of certain books about authors. So that, you know, that starving artist type, the author that's just writing about writing. So if you're, I think for people who like reading about writers or the process of writing, um, this is up your alley as well, even though it's about music, but it's that same kind of artistic pursuit that is under recognized and really hard to justify in mainstream society and for people like family or friends around them. And especially Nocturne. So the most interesting, the longest story in here is Nocturne. So this one was the most weird or one that I didn't fully, fully understand. Um, the part I didn't understand was the interaction that changed after that night with Lindy Gardner and this guy who underwent facial reconstruction surgery to try to be a star. But the interesting part about that, about this whole, the element of him having to change his appearance to be successful, that's a very interesting um, or arguably controversial uh, point that's being brought up and I don't think people really talk about that within the music industry but it's definitely a thing um, and not just popular music either like this is this is across the board for any type of performing arts in my opinion so that that I think is a pretty good book club topic as well um, these stories are not super light but they are really easy to read and follow and I, I think I finished five stories in like two days and they're all very enjoyable and they stay in my mind a little bit but they're not um, you know it's not like I, I dream about it some sometimes the stories are just too heavy or too dark for me um, especially short stories but I really like the writing um, 
by this author it just it flows so easily and i could see how if he wrote an actual novel like the other books are um, stories that are like just novel length about one um about one set of characters i could see how that could be super engrossing so this kind of turned me on to the very giant or perhaps um the other one never let me go if you have Kazuo Ishiguro recommendations of your favorite one, I would really like to know. Um, for now, I hope you guys enjoy my ramblings on nocturnes and uh, hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.